guys trying to wave to you over there behind the camera so today we are going to learn about the queen of wands so hopefully you can see her good so as we look at the queen of wands she is up in the sky but she has her head above the clouds so she is able to see clearly now she has one bird flying towards her so not a clutter of birds not a clutter of gossip birds are about gossip she has one messenger coming to give her the truth her sword is upright straight she has her hand out um calling the above for the message the message of god's truth the sword is god's truth <laughs> So she is sitting and waiting. Um, the wind is blowing here, just as we've seen in the um, Knight of Swords. Things are moving fast. Messages are coming in fast for her. She does have an angel on the side of um, her chair. However, um, in the Queen of Cups, there is the three angels, God spirit holy ghost but this angel is her ancestors her spirit guides she is spiritual also but she listens to her intuition and her nudges from spirit or her spirit guides to get answers again she has very clear thinking and she has clear thinking because she's learned a lot of lessons and i've never noticed this but there's a lot of clouds on her um on her garment I never really noticed that before but she has had a lot of cloudy days as we know the Queen of Swords has been hurt before this is why she is so discerning in in her present day so when you meet the Queen of Swords um, she will have um, a kind of uh, stone face you know as you could see she might not seem very warm to begin with she will kind of come across as um, strict firm um, but she has a lot of wisdom and um, she is loving but it just takes some time she has walls up um, because she's had sadness, she's had periods of mourning, she's had periods of um, sorrow, and and periods of separation from things, uh, or losses rather, or things that she's loved or, or strived for. She's just had a hard life, okay? She's, she's had the clouds that she carries on her back, the cloudy days. But it is clear skies now, so she's learned. She's learned from her past. She's learned from all those um, lessons. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger is the Queen of Swords. So that's who you're dealing with. So just remember that and just give this person a little bit of slack. You never know what their, their story is. However, um, because of the stories and, and the hurdles she's gone through she can have a sharp tongue sword so information comes to her she uses her discernment on how to um, view it and makes decisions accordingly she uses her inner strength she is a survivor um, as we all know the queen of swords has been hurt before she has possibly been bullied she has been deceived but she takes all that um, with her and holds it in her heart, in her mind, and actually it creates a block for anything coming to her, which is why she holds the sword in front of her and holds her hand out. She is calling you forward. However, she is going to use discernment. She is going to be firm. She is going to not take any bullshit. And she is not going to let you cross that sword into her heart until she is sure that you have proven yourself. If you have um, hurt her, there is no second chances. She is taking no, um, no bullshit. And in fact, she may even cut you off before you even have a chance. To give her any bullshit this is a Gemini card 
um, which is funny because it's the lover's card. But she, so she is not going to take any chances of getting her heart hurt, which is a shame, you know, but she builds that block. But this is a person who has been hurt over and over again, unfortunately. Now, she also, um, is a, a little serious, you know, because life has brought her some serious blows. So, you, you know, you can't, you can't be all lollipops and fairy tales when life has slapped her in the face, uh, you know, in reality has slapped her in the face. So what this has done is, is it has, um, brought some sadness to her heart, um, either from a loss that she's mourned, separation, um, a lack, um, um, you know, embarrassments that she's had happen to her and career and life, just, you know, anything, anything, um, negative. She's had a lot of negative things happen and, you know, over and over again, having the door slammed in your face sort of thing then in her shadow side and i'm saying her just because it's a queen on this car but it's just a feminine energy it could lead her to become very malice very um deceitful very um mean very cold so you know um with the stone cold bitch face syndrome and you wonder how people got that way because they weren't born that way but um, as I've said before, you know, abuse people abuse and this is in her negative. I mean her shadow side if this Queen of Swords has become so bitter so angry at life and can't um, and locked her heart up and can't let go Can't let God and let go then they are going to carry this the bitterness this resentfulness this unforgiveness in them and become very cold very bitter very mean and there are people out there that are bitter, mean, um, in society. But if they're not in that shadow side, which hopefully the person that you meet or that you date or your partner or whoever, then they are just going to be a person that is a bit more firm, won't take shit, you know, they're going to be a little bit harder to crack that wall and that um, block that they have. But once you do, if you can last that long, if you can get in and melt their heart, they will be your biggest um, fighter, your biggest loyal supporter. Um, they will be loyal to you for the long haul. Um, because it is, uh, you know, about justice, about fairness. So that is the Queen of Swords, and if you like this video, please leave a like so I know so, and please share with your friends who are learning about the tarot. I know the court cards can kind of be hard um, sometimes, and I will um, see you guys soon. Thanks for the subscribers that are watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.